It's a giant geothermal lagoon. Essentially a misty lake of hot seawater. It's in a very unusual, very dramatic setting. Adjacent to a power plant and surrounded by volcanoes and old lava fields. This strange and steamy world of black rock and bright blue water is Iceland's most popular attraction. It lures more than 300,000 people a year, mostly tourists, but warm water is warm water. And even the locals get into the swim of things. The Blue Lagoon looks natural, but it was formed by this geothermal power plant. The plant takes superheated water out of the ground and uses it to make energy. When they originally pumped it back out into the lava fields, the water formed a lagoon. According to Grimir Samuelson, it's been a mecca for people looking to soak away their tension ever since. After a strong working week, the best thing you could do is go into water and relax a bit. It's, it's, it's great. It's absolutely great. And afterwards, uh, your, your skin feels uh, soft and, and, and you, you feel great and, and relaxed. And uh, I think that people, you know, they really, really are impressed. The average temperature in the lagoon is about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. As you swim out toward the center, though, where the main steam vent is, you can feel it getting hotter. There's blue-green algae in the water and white silica mud on the bottom, which is how the lagoon gets its soft, milky aquamarine color. But even more unique, they say the water and the mud have curative healing powers, especially for people with skin ailments like psoriasis. It looks funny, but a lot of the bathers go over to one corner and slather the wet, chalky sediment all over their bodies. Though Iceland may not be thought of as a hot spot for tourists, the Blue Lagoon may yet change some minds. <laughs>